Hey guys, it's Buck Gamgee here, and uh, Xbox just had their press conference not too long ago, and these are what I liked from their conference. I only have four, so let's dive right into it. First one I'm gonna do for number four is Witcher 3's Gwent card game that they made a, a standalone game for that you can purchase and it's gonna be sick. I love that. I didn't play Witcher 3 a lot, but I loved this Gwent game. And I have some other friends who loved the game. Please to me, welcome from CD this is Project another Red, step into making this game Damien real. Monnier. But the next thing, they should have done, done more than just make the game. They should have made a, a real card game that you could buy Hello, and you everyone. could trade. And Something play with your friends, make it a really, TCG. Really us this is gonna be cool though, because this game was so huge, much fun, and it's gonna be world. so much fun to play. The only thing I have to say, really, about it is, I don't think it should be a $60 game, so. In don't fact, come out so and make this game a $60 game, make it a thirty, forty dollars game maybe. Because I don't think it I don't think it has that all that that meat and potatoes needed to be a $60 game. It's more just got so, like the potatoes and like the corn, you know. It's not over all the last there. Year, it's not we've been every. It's, it's gonna be a great a, game. A it just doesn't have project. all that stuff to make it like so, a sixty-dollar triple A game. It's still gonna be great though. Don't get me wrong. I'm of totally quit. gonna buy it and look forward to it when it comes out. For my number three, I have the new Xbox slash Xbox S or Xbox Slim. The Xbox Slim is 40% smaller, and once they showed like on the screen the sm the uh, normal Xbox that you have now, and then the smaller Xbox, I was like, God damn, it is freaking small as hell. This thing is tiny. Woo! And then you got this new Xbox called the uh, Project Scorpio, as they call it, and it's gonna be this 4K resolution VR. Um, beast machine that's gonna give developers what they need to make the games that they want on this platform which I've heard that it is four times or it's like four times more powerful than the Xbox I mean than the uh, PlayStation 4.5 so yeah go to Xbox because so much better much better graphics like cause that's why everyone one reason that's why everyone went to PS4. Better graphics, and it was cheaper. But now, come back to Xbox because way better graphics, and it's got a slew of first party exclusive titles. Well, lots of them. And I don't know what Sony's doing over there, but I don't think they got anything that can compare to what Microsoft and the Xbox team is doing right now. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I think the Slim comes out this year, and the, the Scorpio, as they're calling the it, is coming Xbox out next One year. Family. Not sure when, but that's what they said. They're getting developers the ready to shift over to make these for the games for this console. They also said that when no one is going to be left behind, so everyone that has like an Xbox now or gets an built. Xbox Slim or trades up to this power, Scorpio this is, is going to be able to play all the games and all the hardware and everything is going to coincide and work for everything. And high fidelity VR. But True 4K what visuals I'm worried about is like quality, someone makes a game for VR the Scorpio, is it going to work on the Xbox? Because of the resolution the and the hardware the needed to play that game, or is there going to be multiple copies one, to play on Xbox each one console itself? So, or is Scorpio it going to be like somehow be they're going to make it to where <clears> this is meant for the Scorpio, three, no one but if you play it on like the Slim or the original Xbox One? It's just it's just gonna uh, downgrade it and give you a lower res uh, version with less graphic and stuff and rendering and whatnot. So I don't know how um, it's gonna work or how the like, developers and stuff are gonna deal with that, but I think it's really cool. And I don't know if I'm gonna get the Scorpio right away. It'd be pretty cool, but you know, money and all that. It's gonna be, you know, still I have an Xbox One right now since I got it when it came out, but you know. It's gonna be cool and I can't wait to see how it goes. My number two <clears throat> may come a surprise. I wasn't actually looking 
forward to this game when they announced it last year at E3. But it is uh, Sea of Thieves, and I am more into the game now than I was last year because they actually brought out uh, three teams or crews of, I think it was four players each, and they didn't give any tutorials or anything, and they let them play the game. And oh my god, it looks so much fun. You, you, you man your crew with like actual players and not like uh, NPCs or AIs. And the thing that really got me is when they went around and they were actually, the three crews were battling out and they were shooting cannons at each other. And you could actually go like underneath um, the ship in the hull and you can see the spots where it's like leaking water and the water's coming in. You can patch those up and oh my god, this looks so awesome. It's not too graphic intense, it's more like a cart like a high-end cartoon, you know, ish, less realistic, you know, but it's going to be sick, it's going to be cool. I like a lot of things that Rare has done in the past, before they became uh, Microsoft uh, <clears throat> Studio, but once they became the Microsoft Studio, they weren't doing much, very, anything really good until now, like, this game is like what they are and what they can do before a little before that it was like here you make this but it's not what they can do it's what they had to do and this will give Ladies them a gentlemen, like this gives them rare. a thing Studio to where they Craig can Duncan. make a game that they want to make you know so i'm looking forward to that i think it comes out this fall which is going to be pretty ago, cool and it looks awesome most ambitious game yet. and then my number one pick for my favorite from xbox is halo wars 2 I'm a big fan of, the, of RTSs, and I was I played a lot of the Halo Wars when it came out, and it was really fun. And in the trailer, they showed how you're playing against this new like brute faction that's like the Fallen or something, and there he's this brute leader has got like a massive, massive army that you fight against. And I can't remember really what the story was about, but it's it looks really, really awesome. I just hope that they add the Prometheans and the Flood and the Covenant all into the game so you can beat those factions and or play against those factions at least in multiplayer or some uh, aspect. If it's not the campaign, it's at least multiplayer and it will give you more things to choose from and to play as or against and add a more replay value and more of an excitement into playing the game instead of just being this new brute faction and the um the unsc planet get show just like the first one was it was the unsc versus the covenant and that's all you had and you had those two factions and you had like other kind of leaders you could pick to be from those two factions but that's all you got to play as unlike now they could have these four factions and it'd be a lot more fun and there's diversity and replay value and it's just gonna be sick. I can't wait to see how they do the controls because the controls for an R RTS game on a console is super hard. It's a lot easier with a mouse and a keyboard. So yeah, that is my four things I liked from the Xbox uh, press conference at E3 2016 this year. I can't wait to see a lot of play some of these games and see this new hardware, which I wasn't expecting some new hardware, but okay, that's gonna be cool. So yeah, I'm Bucky Gamgee and I will see you later.